I gotta admit, I'm a little spooked by the whole Lacey Evans thing. I, I know we haven't seen eye to eye lately, but that's weird, right? I meant what I said before. Just because we disagree sometimes doesn't mean that you can't still come to me for advice or guidance. And yeah, very weird. Seems pointed. I would have even pointed a finger at my client given how ruthless she is. But I was with Dewdrop right before the match. Couldn't have been her. I get taking no prisoners in the ring. But pushing a lighting rig on someone is a whole other level. Well, you know my guess. What's your guess? Seriously? Hmm. Is there anyone who would benefit from an open spot in the match? Maybe someone who benefited in the past when a lighting rig fell on your tag team partner before the Money in the Bank match? Someone who's shown she's prone to extreme actions? Like hitting my client with a car? Don't be dumb about this. Maybe you're right. Ava does have something to gain if she could maneuver her way into the match. I still respect the choice you made the night of your last tag team championship match, but that doesn't mean I've changed my opinion. That girl is just waiting to take advantage of you. More than she's done already. But we'll see soon enough how it plays out for Ava when WWE announces the final entrant. Can't say we've ever had anything like a dark pod before, and I've seen a lot around here. Actually, you do see a lot around here, Tom. Any chance you know who's inside that dark pod? Why would you think I know that? I don't think you know, Tom. I'm just asking. Nope. Huh. Never knew you to be so short. You usually have a lot to say. <sighs> Good luck out there tonight, LJ. Dude, did you hear about this hashtag dark pod thing for the women's elimination chamber? There's gonna be like a whole human in one of the chamber pods, but it'll be dark, so we won't know who it is until it opens. Yeah, I've heard about it, Riddle. It's wild. There's a lot of rumors flying around about who's going to be inside, so I gotta ask, are you in the dark pod? Um, uh, me? Yeah, I won't tell if you are. I'm not in the dark pod, Riddle. Oh, okay. So I gotta ask, am I in the dark pod? You? I won't tell if I am. I don't think so, Riddle. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thanks, bro. I can't 
believe that more people aren't guessing that I'd be in the Dark Pod. Are you in the Dark Pod? No, but I should be. I'm the best thing this women's division has got right now. I shouldn't be left out of this historic match. Rude. Hey, you may not be in the Dark Pod, but at least you're not in a goat head. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here tonight in one of the most highly anticipated Elimination Chamber matches of all time. Thanks to the all-time talents vying for the title and one mystery opponent. Any guesses on who's in there, Corey? If I were competing, I'd be terrified to see Ava Moreno walk out of that dark pod, especially in light of what she just did to Lacey Evans. Allegedly. Oh, that's a blow to the body. Headbutt to the back of the neck. What a chancery. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Oh, devastating kick. Put it this way, she's probably tougher than any of us. Definitely Saxton. And here she comes. She has been salivating, waiting for the chance to enter this match, and now she's gonna get it. Oh, kick right to the gut. Able to interrupt the attack. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. To cover. And skirts out of the pen. He's trying to get this thing done as quickly as possible. And holds back two drops of 10. She's got an answer for that. Great counter. She's hit to the outside.
outside now one of the most dangerous places to be in the elimination chamber. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Treating the torso to yet another attack. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now.
Does that finish Bailey off? For the win! Two! She kicks out. I don't believe it. Well, Bailey is certainly displaying a great amount of toughness. It's not easy to kick out of that. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. And Kravat sinks in. Remarkable power being shown here. Oh, Bailey's dream's about to end here in this chat. Severely injured, had to tap out. Bailey has been eliminated. It's about to open. It's been the best kept secret in WWE since it was announced. Everyone's on the edge of their seats to find out who's inside. The wait is almost over because the mystery entry into the elimination chamber is about to be revealed. And Hall of Famer Justine is the mystery entrant into the Elimination Chamber match. One of these two women will be the next SmackDown Women's Champion. But how? We haven't seen Justine in the ring for over a decade since her career-ending injury. She certainly doesn't look injured to me, Corey. And she also doesn't look like she minds that the woman standing in the way of winning a championship is her niece. <laughs> Justine immediately on the offensive. Setting her up. Down. It looks as if her niece was completely caught off guard by this. She's getting dominated in there. Wait a second. We've seen this before, but not in a very long time. It's vintage Justine here tonight. The Justine Jammer with the cover. One, two, three. It's over. We have a new SmackDown Women's Champion, and I can't believe I'm saying this. It's Justine. Justine is the new SmackDown Women's Champion. There were so many names thrown around about who was going to be in the dark pod, and Justine wasn't even on the list. Her niece must be shocked. I think the entire WWE Universe is shocked. I'm having flashbacks to 2002. Simply unbelievable that we are witnessing this right now. What a moment in WWE history.